Madison Builder Jamie Pendleton. I want to welcome you back into my home kitchen where today I'm going to be making Pullman bread. And I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the steps. So we're going to make Pullman bread again and this time we have another contest. I will tell you whatever we're giving away you can see right here in the picture. Can you figure it out? What's that? Well you would be right if you guessed a Pullman bread pan. We're giving away a Pullman bread pan, okay? So, if you like this video, if you share it on your social media, it has to be this video, if you share it on your social media, you tell your friends about my channel, Our Little Homestead channel, and uh, you come back and you leave a comment below, all right, leave a comment below and tell me that you want entered in the contest and maybe tell us a story about your favorite bread or bread, sweet bread, favorite yeast bread or roll recipe, whether it's savory or sweet. Uh, you can even leave the recipe for us. And if I try it, I'll even use your name and give you credit for it if you want to share that recipe with us. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to draw one name. You have to live in the lower 48 states. And so we're going to move forward here. But I just want to tell you, to enter this contest, you must be in the lower 48 states. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pan. I'll leave any of the contest directions. I'll leave that at the end of the video. Okay, so just check out the end of the video and how to enter the contest. And, um, and we do appreciate you guys being with us. That's why I bring these contests to you. And something like this. Uh, this is a 30 to 35 dollar value right here just in this alone plus shipping it to you so but i want to thank you guys i bring these contests to you because i want to thank you whether they're big contests or they're little contests i bring them to you because i want to thank you for all that you guys i wouldn't be here if it weren't for you if it weren't for you and the you viewers and you subscribers um we're just i'm just so blessed that um I never thought two years ago when I started this journey, I never thought, and I had a meeting with YouTube and now they're telling me they're predicting me to go with this rate, that I'm predicted to go to at least 70,000 by the end of the year. Um, you know, share this, let's reach 100,000, let's do this, let's reach 100,000. So, um, so let's go ahead, let's get started, where today I'm going to be making Pullman bread. All right, we're going to start out with our bread machine or rapid rise yeast it's the same basically the same thing so we're going to start out by putting three teaspoons of yeast into the machine by adding in two tablespoons of sugar and between 98 degree and 110 degree water And that was one and three quarters cups of water. And now I'm going to run over here to the pot and I'm going to get another three quarters of a cup of water because we're going to need that in just a few minutes. And we're going to blend that yeast in with that warm water and that sugar. We're going to let that sit for just a few minutes. Meanwhile, we're going to get our other ingredients together. Just using my Misto sprayer here. I'm going to give it a few pumps. And I've just got it filled up with some uh, canola oil and a little bit of butter flavoring. And what I'm going to do to get the honey out of here easier, I'm just going to give that a quick spray. There we go. Set this aside because we will be using this in a minute. That seems to be working, so we're going to move forward. All right, now to the machine, I'm going to add two tablespoons of packed brown sugar. And remember, the recipe is going to be below in the show more section. And I'm just going to break up those two tablespoons of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of honey. Let's check our temperature of that honey. I had to put it in the microwave to kind of... Okay, it's fine. Let's double check down the bottom. Let's make sure it's got the same tip. And then right there's two tablespoons of honey. Meanwhile, I'm going to preheat this oven here to about, 
about 85 degrees. We're going to warm it up in here just like a nice warm summer day. We're going to warm up this oven. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. One egg, that's one large egg. Crack it into a separate bowl. We're going to break that and kind of beat that just a little bit here. A beaten egg. I'm going to turn this on low while I add in the beaten egg. Okay, now we've got another three quarters of a cup of water here. That's at about 108 degrees right in there. And we've set, got this set aside. We're going to use that here in just a minute. We've got our extra oil and we have our salt. We have to add in our salt yet. I'm going to go ahead and keep the flour from flying. We're going to go ahead and put on... ahead and add in three tablespoons of milk powder. That's three tablespoons of milk powder and we're going to blend that in again. Okay, meanwhile we're going to turn this oven back off, leave the door open here and then I'm going to keep checking here once in a while and see how warm and toasty that is. I think that's just perfect right there. We'll go ahead and shut that door. That's going to be perfect for raising bread in. Um, just a warm spot, even if it's on a dryer, just a warm spot. We're going to add in two teaspoons of salt. That's two teaspoons of salt. Blend that in. Alright, now we're going to start adding the flour. And what we're going to do is we're going to add four cups of flour in here. Then we're going to add the butter in, the softened butter in. That's about uh, four tablespoons of softened uns unsalted butter. So that's four tablespoons of unsalted butter. And then we're going to add in the last two cups of flour. So it's six cups of flour all together. So that's six cups of flour all together. But we're going to put in the first four cups here. And then we're going to drop in the butter. A little bit more of the another three quarters cups of water. That equals to two and a quarter cups of water all together. And we're going to add in that first cup of flour. Put this on low.
little bit too sticky. I think it's going to take about another half a cup of, of flour here. Just depends on the humidity. It's really humid outside, so just a little bit more flour. We want it sticky, pliable, sticky. I'll show you here in just a second. I'll let it run for another minute or two, and then I'll show you the consistency it needs to be. All right, now it's doing what I need it to do. It's got a nice consistency to it. Um, it pulls. It's a little tacky. It's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run for about two to three minutes and let it knead, and then we'll be back in a minute. All right, so we're going to grease our bowl. A little bit and then we're going to toss our dough right in here give it a flip get it greasy on both sides and we're going to let this dough double if I can get it out of here with my hands there we go I'm just gonna kind of punch it down in here a little bit kind of shape it pull the sides in just a little bit and then we're gonna give it a flip just a really nice tender dough. Fits. Okay, it's going to fit. So we're going to go ahead and grease the bonnet. Make sure that I get this taken back off there nicely. Put extra grease right there. Place on our bonnet. Oops. Making sure we come up high enough to give it some poop room. There we go. Now we're going to put this in a warm place. We just uh, spray the top of the bonnet here. A little extra oil here on the top of the loaf. that bonnet from sticking. And we're just going to put this in a warm oven. That's a perfect temperature. There we go. We're going to set our timer. And we're going to come back and check on this in about 45 minutes. So now is our chance to say our blessing with our quarter inside of our charity jar, okay? It's getting full too. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless the raising of this bread and help us rise to the challenges and our friends rise to the challenges and the occasions that you set before us in this world of tribulations. Remember, we will have tribulations, but be of good cheer is what the Lord commands of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless this bread. Amen, Jesus. All right, we're going to donate the quarters to charity. But we want to do good with what God has given us. And God's blessed us with some beautiful bread. And he's going to bless us with a raised bread. And uh, we can do so much with this recipe. So much from sweet rolls to savory rolls. And we're going to be right back because I'm going to show you how to put this in your Pullman pan. Now, while our bread is raising, we're going to go ahead and prepare our Pullman pans. You do not have to spray these. But I'll tell you, I do. And... Um, I use my uh, oil and butter, butter um, flavored oil that for my misto. And the reason why I do this, I've seen too many videos where people can't release their bread out of these Pullman pans because they did not have a release bread. Trust me, it's it's, it's not going to hurt the bread. Matter of fact, it gives it a nice little flavoring. This helps it to, to, to slide off and on easier. And I even put a little oil in the tracks right here, which really helps uh, as well. In here. Just a little bit. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much at all. Just enough to help release this. Now, the manufacturer says you don't have to spray it. But when I called them, they said that certainly do. They have Women have more luck when they do. So, uh, and I agree with that. I've been doing this for quite some time. It's sliding off and on very nicely. When we raise the bread, we're gonna raise the bread with just plastic wrap over the top. When it comes from about a half an inch from the top, then we're gonna take the plastic wrap off. We're gonna slide the lid on, preheat the oven to 350, slip this into the oven this direction in the oven, and then halfway through baking, we're gonna give this a turn. 
alright? I find it just gives it a nice even brown coloring on this. And this isn't, there's not much crust on a Pullman Love. So, alright, so that's where we're at. We'll be right back. Okay, here we have the dough. And it's just too late in the night. I am not going to get to making the little piggies. Oh, I wish I would. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take part of this dough. I'm going to make the Pullman bread as I usually do. Going to let it raise. Going to get that baked up. And I'm going to refrigerate the other section of this. And we're going to come back in the morning. And we're going to finish the little piggies off. I'm just going to need more time than what I've got tonight. Um, I'm already pushing uh, 420 in the morning. We had a leak in the plumbing. And so I had to go take care of that. So we're going to go ahead and... Get this dumped out with some clean hands. Remember, always clean hands. This is such a beautiful dough. Look at this, just beautiful. It's just, it comes out perfect every single time. And I'm just gonna take, and I'm just gonna gently punch it down here on the thing. You can punch it down in the bowl, you can punch it down in here. Like I said, it's getting late, so. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna knead it just a little bit here. Get it punched down here. It's just a nice, beautiful dough, look at that. All right, then what we're gonna do here We're going to, um, and you can put this directly in here. You do not have to roll your dough. It's just something that I do, but I think it gives me a very, a lot tighter, um, it gives me a tighter crumb and a nicer crumb without all the air holes in the crumb. If I take my time and I do roll it out, so just a little bit of flour on the rolling pin, not much. And we're just going to go ahead and just roll this out getting any air pockets out and if you have any air pockets in here you can simply just take a toothpick and pop the air pockets right out this is just such a beautiful dough it's already raising again look at this okay, i'm gonna go ahead i mean you gotta get this to relax there we go there's that big air bubble out of there get the air out of it get it to relax Here we go. I want that air out. You hear it? You hear it squeaking out of there? Get it out. There we go. Give it some release points here. There we go. It'll, it'll relax here. Just give it a minute. Just gotta work with it for about two or three minutes and it'll start relaxing. Here we go. Now it's relaxing a bit. Exactly what we want it to do. Beautiful dough, just beautiful. Stretch it, it's still a little thick here. That's fine. As long as it's still bouncing back, then it's not relaxed enough. All right. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to take. Pretty thick. Let me see if I can roll it this way just a little bit. Hear that? Sound like a little bird. <laughs> little bird chirping. I'm getting all that extra air out of here. There you go. Now it's relaxing. That's nice. That's real nice. Oh, it feels, it just feels so velvety soft. That's what you want right there. Just keep working with it. Now 
Now I need this to be filled up to about that line right there. All right, that's about, oh, maybe a third of the way up the pan. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna start rolling. And we're gonna give it a nice, we're gonna tuck and pull, tuck and pull, tuck and pull, tuck and kind of pull, just lightly pull. And then we're gonna start kind of rolling and pulling, rolling and kind of pulling towards me. All right? Get these corners. Pull. And we're gonna kind of pinch this together. Now, that's not pinching together very well, so what I'm going to do, I need this to be a little bit more even, so I'm gonna bring it down like this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cut off at about right here. And I'm gonna take this bit of dough here and I can turn it into, um, I can spread butter and cinnamon on this and make some cinnamon rolls. That's fine. But I wanted to make my piggy, so I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna go ahead and refrigerate this. I'm gonna stop the raising process on this and we'll come back and we'll turn these into the wee little piggies. Just put the oil in the bag. It's beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and place this in the refrigerator and we're going to stop that raising process. I'll take just a little bit of warm water here. I'm going to kind of Stretch and get that on there. There we go. I think that's already okay, that's already melding together. Okay, so there we go. Get that all nice and even. Remember the ends, tuck, fold, fold, and pull over if you have to. A little water on the ends as well. And we're going to tuck that in, fold over, fold over. A little bit of water there, that's fine. Just a little bit of water. And we're going to give it kind of like a, see that? Kind of looks like a half moon pie down here on the end. All right, now, little flour we got. We're gonna go ahead and roll this. All right. Let's place this down inside our greased pan and push it to the corners. I mean, it's such a soft dough. It just, I wish you could feel how this feels and then you'd know Bring the top of it with a little bit of oil. And we're going to put this in a warm place and we're going to let this raise, uh, not to the top, but till we're about a half an inch from the top at the highest point, you know, of the dough. All right, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, it'll probably take about another 25 minutes. And during that 25 minutes, I'll go ahead and I'll preheat the oven to a 350 degrees, count up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the dough is right here, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, so we're about a third of the way up the pan, okay? Now you don't have to roll it out and do all that, but you run the risk of getting very large bread holes in here. So sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I won't roll it out if I'm in a hurry, but, um, but I know that it's better if you do roll it out. Okay, it, it, it does work out better when you roll out your bread. You get a much tighter crumb, a much finer crumb, and a much softer dough if you do. And we're gonna go put this in the stove and let this raise. All right, you can see here that this is starting to touch the plastic here at the top. 
These little bonnets here are reusable, so we're gonna set those aside. As we're about a half an inch from the top, which means we're not gonna have any problem at all sliding this on. Now, I did put just a little bit of grease on here. And we're gonna finish raising this inside this pan. The oven's preheated to 350 for about 30 minutes on to do it. The inside of the bread should read about 180 to 183 degrees. Doing here. Sounds good. Oh, look at that. Nothing over the sides. That's what I call perfection right there. Now we gotta put in a thermometer in the center. And we gotta get a reading. Should be 180. Oh, we're there. 185 is a perfect loaf of bread. Look at that. No spillovers on the side. Goes corner to corner. And this is how you get it out, okay? You put it on its side just like that. And you give it a knock just like that. And you take, grab a hold of it. Over it goes. Look at this. A perfect loaf of bread. Every single time. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to take. And we're just going to brush this with a little bit of butter. This really doesn't have a crust on it. It's just, uh, just wonderful. Get those edges. This just kind of softens it up. That'll absorb right into the bread. Gives it a nice flavor. Make sure it cools before you slice it. About um, right around 16 to 18 slices, depending on how thick you slice it. And that's enough bread to last you for a couple of days or a week if you put it in the freezer. So three days on the counter or um, up to two weeks in the freezer, okay? So I leave some out and I freeze some with freezer paper between slices so I can just pop out what I need. That way it lasts long because it's just John and I. All right. I take some pictures of this and we'll be right back. We love you. Be sure and subscribe. When we come back, we're going to use the other half of this recipe and we're going to make our barbecued piggies. All right? So we'll be right back. And don't forget about the contest here with the Pullman bread pan, okay? We're giving one of these away with this video. All right? We love you. Leave your comment below and uh, look, be sure and check out the uh, contest rules here at the end of this video. Be sure and subscribe and be sure and hit that bell so you get our latest updates. Blessings. Go with God.